Okay, let's do this, everybody. We got to talk about the use ref hook in React. Use ref, meaning use reference, is very similar to use state. Use state stores some sort of value, or an object, or an array. Whenever the state value changes, use state re renders the component, which isn't always what we want. Use ref, meaning use reference, it doesn't cause re renders when its value changes. Use use ref when you want a component to remember some information, but you don't want that information to trigger new renders. Use ref is helpful with accessing and interacting with DOM elements, handling focus, animations, and transitions, as well as managing timers and intervals. Use state triggers re-renders. Use ref doesn't. In order for us to use the use ref hook, we have to import it from React. Import use ref. For this sample program, we'll be using use state originally. Then we'll switch it up and use use ref to see the differences. We'll begin by using the use state hook. We will have a state variable of number and a setter for number equals use state. I will set the initial state of number to be zero. We will return a button element. The button will have text of click me. I will set the on click event handler equal to a function of handle click. Then we just need to declare this function. Function handle click, no parameters. What do we want to do? When we click on the button, let's use the setter for number and increment the previous state of number by one. N plus one. Whenever my number updates, it's going to cause my component to re-render. I can demonstrate that with the use effect hook. So before our function of handle click, let's use use effect. With use effect, if we don't pass in a dependency array, we'll perform some code every time this component renders. So for this demonstration, let's console.log component rendered. Anytime this component renders, use effect is going to execute this code where we display component rendered. So I'm going to go to my console. When your component mounts, you'll render your component twice. That's if you're in strict mode. Just temporarily for this demonstration, I am going to remove strict mode. So our component renders once on mount. Whenever we update the state of a state variable, that causes the component to re-render. That's where use ref comes in. Use ref doesn't cause a component to re-render when its value changes. It's kind of like an escape hatch. So instead of using a state variable, we're going to use ref. Use ref means use reference. We're referring to something. We will declare a const of ref equals use ref function. Use ref returns an object, an object that has one property of current. If you pass in a value to use ref, you can set the property of current to some value. I will set the current property of my ref object to be zero. Then within handle click, within handle click, I will access my ref object, access the current property, then I'll have access to that value. I will set the current property of ref to be ref dot current property plus one, or we could use the increment operator. Every time we click the button, we will increase the current property of ref by one. And then I will display what that value is. Console.log access our ref object, access the current property. Let's go to inspect console. Our component rendered once. Every time I click the button, our component isn't re-rendering. We've only rendered it once. The value stored within the current property of my ref object is increasing each time I click the button without the component re-rendering. Use ref returns an object, an object that has one property, a property of current. Let me show you what would happen if I were to console.log ref, my reference. So here's ref. It's an object. It's an object with one property. When we create this reference, the initial value is going to be the initial value we pass in to use ref, zero. But if I were to change this, let's say that the initial value is pizza. 
Ref is an object, an object with one property of current. The value stored within my current property is a string of pizza. So what we'll do in this next demonstration is create an input element. But we do need to wrap all this HTML within a single element because we can only return a single element at a time normally. So we will enclose all of our HTML within a div. So we have a button and an input element. The current property of your ref object can also refer to an HTML element, and that's where useRef is really helpful. Your reference should be descriptive of what you're referencing. We will reference this input element. I will name this reference as input ref. I will set the initial value to be null, meaning no value. Within that HTML element, we have to set the ref attribute equal to that reference of input ref. The ref attribute of an HTML element, it's a special attribute used to create references to elements. After our component renders, I'm going to console.log input ref. We'll take a look at what it contains. So here's our input ref object. It's an object. The property of current is set equal to this input element. And this input element is one gigantic HTML object. If we make any changes to this HTML element, it's not going to cause this component to re-render. And to even check that, I have console.log component rendered within use effect. If this component re-renders, we'll console.log this message. So what would we like to do? When we click the button, let's take our object of input ref, access the current property, that will give me my HTML element, my input element. I will use the built-in focus method to give this element focus. If I were to click on this button, our input element is going to have focus, and it doesn't cause the component to re-render. Just to check that, let's go to Inspect, Console. Our component rendered once, when we initially mounted it. Every time I click the button, the component isn't re-rendering, which is good. We don't necessarily need the component to re-render every single time. Not only that, let's change the background color of our text box. We can really do anything we want with this HTML element without causing the component to re-render. Let's access our input ref object, access the current property. That will give me this HTML element. Let's access the style property, access the background color, and set it to be yellow. Now when I click the button, we have focus and the background color changes of this input element. Let's create a few more HTML elements. Let's copy this button and this input element, paste it twice. We'll have click me one, click me two, click me three. We'll have to create a few more references. Let's copy our current reference, paste it twice. Input ref one, input ref two, input ref three. The ref attribute of each input element will be input ref1, then input ref2, input ref3. We'll create two more handle click functions, just to keep it simple. Handle click1, handle click2, handle click3. Handle click1, handle click2, handle click3. So we need input ref1, input ref2, input ref3. When we click on one of these buttons, the background color is going to change, as well as the input element having focus. When we click on one of these buttons, I need the background color of the other input elements to reset back to normal. So really, we can just copy what we have for the background color, but access input ref 2 and 3. Set the background color to be an empty string for the default. If I were to click on button 1, input ref 1 is now yellow. When I click on button 2, the background color is yellow. Input element 1 and 3 now use the default color. And the same thing goes with input element 3. If I were again to go to inspect, console, well, our component still only rendered once. 
by interacting with these buttons, it doesn't cause the component to re-render. That's because we're using useRef and not useState. You don't need to write all this, but I changed my program around so it's using useState rather than useRef. Every time I click one of these buttons now, since we're using useState, the component re-renders. By avoiding re-rendering when it's not needed, it's going to make your component more efficient. Alright everybody, so that is useRef. useState re-renders the component when the state value changes. useRef means use reference. We're storing a reference to something. When you use useRef, it returns an object, an object with one property of current. That current property can store a value, an array, an object, or an HTML element. When the stored value changes, it doesn't cause the component to re-render. This is helpful with accessing and interacting with DOM elements, handling focus, animations, and transitions, as well as managing timers and intervals. We'll be working with useRef in the next video, where we will be making a stopwatch component. And well, everybody, that is the useRef hook in React.